The Liberal platform said in black and white, quote, we will end Canada's combat mission in Iraq, end of quotes. Canadians were told that instead, our troops would just be training local forces. But yesterday, Brigadier General Daw said that there's less need for training and troops are increasingly on the front line engaging directly with the enemy. Canadians were told this would be a training mission. Has the mission changed? Minister of National Defence. Mr. Speaker, thank you for the question. The, uh, the, the, the mission in, in Iraq was always an advise and assist, and it continues to be an advise and assist mission. With the evolving uh, uh, situation there, as you work with uh, the local force, it allows for the, um, the, the local troops to be able to take the fight to Daesh, and that's exactly what we're doing. And uh, our troops are doing a wonderful job, and I just met with uh, the uh, Special Envoy from the U.S. on the counter ISIL, and he complimented on, on our work, and we will continue to work with our coalition partners to have a continued impact against Daesh. Thank Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Edmonton, Strathcona. Well, Mr. Speaker, an interesting response, but not an answer to my question. Exactly. The Brigadier General has just revealed, in quotes, the mission has changed since the spring, end of quotes. We're told the mission has moved from defensive to offensive. And after promising increased transparency, the Liberals won't tell us how often our troops come under fire and how many are on the ground in Iraq. Does the minister believe that Canadians have a right to know about the increasing risk to our soldiers in Iraq? Great question. The Honourable Minister of National Defence. Mr. Speaker, in, uh, in a, uh, dealing with conflict and uh, an enemy like this, the situation obviously is, is going to change, and we adjust with it to making sure that we are effective coalition uh, partners. In terms of a transparency, we've been extremely uh, open with it, and hence the reason why we actually did this technical brief, and who better to be able to brief on what the mission is going than, than our generals. I've always been open uh, to providing uh, information to Canadians, and I will always continue to do so. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. 